Located in historic Abingdon, Virginia, the Arts Depot is a nonprofit, community based art gallery whose mission is to promote and support regional artists through working artist studios and gallery exhibits and to provide educational opportunities for the community. Housed in an old freight station, the original depot was built in 1858 with the purpose of being a central point for manufactured goods, new ideas, and visitors from afar. During the Civil War, the first depot building was burned in Stoneman's Raid. In June of 1866, the Norfolk and Southern Railroad rebuilt the depot on its original site. In 1870, a new passenger station was built, and it is this building which is now the home of the present-day Arts Depot. After more than a century of service, the freight depot was closed in 1981. The town of Abingdon purchased the property. 4,000 hours of volunteer work and financial contributions of local citizens were invested in the renovation of the aging landmark to create a new home for the Depot Artists Association in 1990. Hi, I'm Nancy Garretson. I'm a resident artist here at the Arts Depot. In fact, I'm one of the first resident artists. I was part of the group that founded the Arts Depot. Forty years ago, I took a weaving class. I had been a high school art teacher and decided to go to graduate school. Well, my original plan was to be a generalist and be able to teach all crafts. But I fell in love with weaving and it was uh, really love in the first class and so I've been weaving ever since and my my love is tapestry weaving and I've developed a style that I call three-dimensional tapestries. Now three-dimensional tapestries are all woven flat just like I'm doing now on the loom but then I take the pieces off the loom and do stuff to them. I either uh, finish off the edges so they can stand out on their own or I layer them or I put stuffing behind them and make them come out and I've been having a really good time uh, just experimenting and figuring out how to do these things as far as I know I'm the only one that's doing it. There are three galleries housed in the Art Depot which rotate their exhibits every six to eight weeks. The members gallery is reserved for association member artists as time and space allows. Hosting five shows per year with up to four artists in each show, artists are chosen on a first-come, first-served basis. The Spotlight Gallery hosts juried shows that have been selected by the Gallery Committee. Artists do not have to be a member to apply for space in the Spotlight Gallery. The Founders Gallery hosts six specially selected exhibits annually. In honor of National Youth Art Month, each March a local school's art students are featured. Each August, the entire exhibition space is devoted to the Virginia Highlands Festival Juried Fine Art Show. Hello, I'm Jackie Dolp, and I have had my studio here at the depot for eight years. I work mostly in watercolor, transparent watercolor, which means I can layer three and four times. I get beautiful bright colors, which I love, and so to do that, I need to go over it a few times. I like to play. I guess I like it when I paint myself into a corner and have to figure out, oh, now, now what do I do to make this a nice painting? And I always love, it's like bad children, I always love those the best, rather than one that I sit down and everything goes smoothly and I think, huh, that's really good. I like someone to know that when they come in, there won't ever be another one like that. That's theirs. When people buy my things, it's like sending my children forth. I mean, it's, I want my paintings to go to a happy home and be admired. And I love it when people come back and say, I just love your painting. I go in and I sit down and I look at it and it makes me feel happy. Seven resident studio artists work in a wide range of media including watercolor, weaving, clay, jewelry, and acrylics. Their studios are open to visitors and the artists are pleased to discuss their work and offer demonstrations of their skills. Most of the artwork created in the artist studios and in the galleries is available for purchase. The entire experience is designed to be friendly and welcoming while serving as a wonderful opportunity for patrons to learn about art and how it is made from the artists themselves. I'm Sarah Reese. I'm a potter, 
slash clay artist. I uh, make things out of clay. And I've been at the Arts Depot since we started this project. I tell people that I came with the building. I spent many years working at my potter's wheel, making nice, round, sensible things. But I started getting these pictures in my mind of um, cats and dogs and vases that were not round. And I'm an animal lover, it's true. Uh, you can't help but notice the cats and dogs and fish and turtles when you're, when you're in my studio. I'm known for texture. I love to do texture on clay. And on this piece, I'm using um, various items that are not really art tools. Um, like, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> It's a little wooden stick. And I've got a nail around here somewhere and a seashell. And I've just been having the best time. The possibilities are limitless. The Depot Artists Association has been designated a nonprofit 501c3 organization. And much of the success of the Arts Depot would not be possible without our volunteers who serve a combined 3,000 hours each year in categories of service that include helping greet gallery guests, distributing posters, maintenance and gardening, seasonal decorating, hanging exhibits, scheduling classes and workshops, reception hosts, publicity, fundraising, and serving on the board of directors and other committees. My name is Nancy Johnson. My painting is very unique. Uh, Forte is folk art, and I'm still using acrylics, but I'm using so many different styles, uh, like uh, collages. And I use from rocks and woods, and even the, the rust from up under the caboose out there. And the subject matters, I'm still staying in the, in the trend of childhood memories. My, Serious subject I'm reaching to now is going into historical uh, events. And my biggest piece is going to be is the Underground Railroad and plus the slave trade ship. I really want my uh, grandchildren and their children to know what went on back in that generation. And now it's really coming out as a reality now. By telling these stories, I see joy, I see peace. I see tears, even telling the story. The Arts Depot is open Thursday through Saturday, and hours for the depot vary depending on the time of the year. Visitations can also be scheduled by appointment by contacting the Arts Depot staff at 276-628-9091. It's a gathering place for artists, for people who have been at their crafts for a long time, and for newcomers. People come, and they come in, and you can show them their work, you get feedback. It's a real experience, and people enjoy coming here, and they come back again and again. We are more about people than we are about art, and when you treat people well, um, people who like art and create art, I think the rest falls into place. Mm -hmm.